Look, don't worry, mate. You can call me Steven. Watch the rock. My vacation was made. That was so good. <laughs> yeah! We're going to Lamplight Lounge. Luckily, we were able to make reservations. We checked in for a reservation. They're supposed to text us, so we waited around for like 25 minutes, and we're like, okay. Came back, we're like, is it our time yet? And they're like, oh yeah, sorry, we actually didn't check you in. Now we're re-put on the wait list to get in there. So I bet you we'll get into Lamplight. So here's the gift shop knickknack. They'll have uh, Disney artists, little sketches of Pixar characters, and you can watch them sketch live. That's always a lot of fun to watch them do that. But I love the shop because there's so much like concept art. They look at Roz and Mike dancing together. It's just stuff that you just have never seen before. So this shirt will only run you $25. Miguel's guitar right there. Remember me. They have a lot of really cute merch in this shop. I do love that they're giving some love to my boy Forky. Kind of buzz and he's, let's just say he's a very confident buzz. I think they never rethemed the benches because these are still like the aerial grotto benches with the seahorses. It almost looks like stained glass, but it's got LL for Lamplight Lounge. And here we go, Lamplight Lounge. Now they have all this like concept art and original art. They have Nemo right there. The up house. The more time you spend here, like the richer the experience is because of all the details and Easter eggs that they've hidden throughout here. Section. We have Carl and Ellie's mailbox up there. Hi, right, Jessica, what's your fun little Easter egg for us right now? So it's gonna be the shoes that are up there. So to simulate how they would go ahead and move uh, for the toy soldiers, they put it on the plywood and you can see like the duct tape and then they would just kind of walk and see how to animate it. For my drink, I got off the secret menu. This is what I had last time. I had two of these and let's just say I had a very good day. So I got the zombie. It's gonna be light rum, dark rum, coconut rum, spiced rum, 151 rum, orange and pineapple juices with blue curacao, Midori and grenadine. In Disney World, the drinks, it's just like drinking juice. At Disneyland, that stuff is a real drink. Put the little brains in, do a little stir. Same one. Oh yeah. Get that rum going on. It's a must. Oh my god, here it is. For happiness right there. Here we go, the lobster nachos. Oh, this looks so good. Now this is one of the reasons I love Allison. She's a woman who loves food. She got her own lobster nachos. I got my own lobster nachos. It's a must. You're just chowing down on a pineapple right now. <laughs> Never had the Neverland tea before. Vodka, gin, rum plus peach schnapps. Pineapple juice and Maduri. It looks great. It's got a pineapple on top. That's a very sweet and tart drink. I think the tea is like a solid 8.5. So we also ordered donuts, and these donuts are amazing because they're kind of like the Typhoon Lagoon donuts. They've changed the donut design in the menu. Uh, it comes with a berry compote and a Bailey's Irish cream sauce. The donuts used to be just like powdered sugar donuts. Now they look very interesting. We'll report on you back. Okay. Dip it in the... Interesting. Are there nuts on top? Run down to the donuts. Not a fan of the donuts. They used to be really good. They're not a terrible donut, but I don't like this. The sauces don't really complement the crust that's on the donut. I think we'll do like a six out of 10 on the donut. Don't come here and get donuts. They are not good. They used to be good. They have a really cool booth over here. They have all these figures from all the Pixar films and Pixar shorts. The entire table is covered in all the cars, figures that you can actually buy in the store. Every time I come here, I just spot something new, and that's why I love this restaurant so much. This is the only restaurant that I like fully endorse. Carthay Circle is pretty good too, but like a quick, easy, fun place to eat and drink. You gotta come to Lamplight. Like, look at the view from the staircase. The fun wheel right there, you get the Incredit coaster. Now, one of Allison's favorite rides in all of Disney is the Golden Zephyr. I've never been to before, Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta. I've heard the pasta is really good. Pasta's good? Pasta's good. Okay. Unless you don't like it, then then it wasn't me that suggested it. <laughs> Allison said, is that real cheese? Oh, it's just decoration. It's just decoration. You're gonna take the whole block, just take a chunk of it. Be like Lizzie McGuire. I got some cool cheese. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right, so we got two different pastas from here. Allison got the five cheese ravioli. It's gonna have pesto sauce, pine nuts on top. Now right, I'm gonna try Allison's. 
Love that pesto sauce. And then I got the sun-dried tomato pesto. Pasta tossed with sun-dried tomato pesto cream. They made this to order in front of us, so it's hot and fresh. That's very good. Holy crap. Now, never in my life I think what I have thought I would suggest you guys to eat pasta from a theme park. I suggest it. Really good. A chicken sun-dried uh, tomato pasta. Like an 8 out of 10. It's kind of like simple. It's a safe bet for anybody who kind of likes pasta with chicken and cheese. And then when you go to that five cheese ravioli, that pesto is so vibrant in your mouth and the cheese is so juicy and it was great. A little bit of balsamic, some nuts on top. 9 out of 10 on the pesto pasta. The best part of California Adventures when the sun goes down, the park comes to life. There's lights everywhere. We're now off to the Incredicoaster. It is nighttime, so the entire track is lit up in red. You ready? <laughs> after screaming for so much on that ride. This looks like he's being launched into space. So over here the Fisherman's Wharf, this is you. Look, look at the women's sign. Allison strikes again. Ugh, it's slimy. There we go, you got your champion fish right there. Let's go look at the men's sign. I caught the real small little fish. Fish on. And the moment we've all been waiting for. It's me and you. So Keith, what are we about to do? Watch the world color. Now your first time, you didn't even want to go watch it. I'm tired. <laughs> okay, you can sleep with me when you get home. No. <laughs> Keith, you need to see World of Color. <laughs> We're going. I love it. Was that the greatest Disney show you've ever seen of your entire life? Yeah. Now you want to go bad and bougie and we're getting dining package. Yes. Well, dessert package. Yes. How much does it cost? $84 per person. Not including time. So you check in over here, it says World of Color Dessert Party, and they give you a little uh, wristband. So the wonderful cast member was kind of explaining to me how the new system works. It's a virtual queue, right? So at 12 o'clock is when you can hop on your phone. It'll either give you show one or show two. We are at show two right now. And then it'll give you like two different colors, two different sections of where the virtual queue is. So Watch the show from. The only little bit of standby is this little section right here. We're on the bridge. And as she said, there's not really a, the dining package anymore, so I think it's only the dessert party. It's a very different system to watch World of Color now. Okay, we're going in right now. You see everybody's kind of lined up in the dessert party. I believe they will show us where our seats are. It's like assigned. This is our little table, and there's World of Color. You got the wine. It's very oaky. Like wood. <laughs> You're just drinking wood right now. There's like no taste. No taste at all. <laughs> no taste. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated.
wish I knew. Did everyone see that? Because I will not be doing it again. The World of Color is one of the most beautiful, breathtaking shows you will ever watch in your entire life. It's one of those things you have to experience in person. I think if you're a local and you come here a lot, I think you just do the reservation system and get a spot. If you want a place to kind of sit down and relax after a long day, I think the dining package is a great thing. You get drinks, coffee, some desserts. Desserts are they're fine. The drinks are fine, nothing special there. But it's a great place to sit down and you have a reserved spot. So I think if you're super stressed about your vacation and everything, the dessert package is a great thing for you guys. But for the person visiting one, maybe two times a year, or once in their lifetime, definitely get the dessert package, get the secured spot, and you get a good seat. Now, fun little Easter egg that I didn't know about. Jessica told us about this. A little Pixar lamp above the Pixar Pier sign actually watches Roll the Color so you can watch him react to the different scenes so you can see him look happy and sad. That's really cool. It's one of those little details that makes Disney different. When he's not watching the show, you know, he's just watching over the crowd, watching over the park. We're walking into Avengers Campus right now. The arc reactor is all lit up. Grand center of it, they have a Avengers trash can. Push the talking trash can has now become an Avenger. Oh, they're hugging a garbage can. Long time no see, old pal. Oh. Feel like a day over 20. Is it phasma? Phasma is some trash. Packages that they did at Avengers Campus is amazing. We're going into the inner sanctum. Little illusion. I like the little dance break at the end there. Never noticed all the books light up. Now the one big thing I had on my bucket list is I wanted to meet Moon Knight or Mr. Knight here at Avengers Campus. Now they kind of do these like Disney Plus characters but only for like a really limited time. Right over there. It's about to happen. I'm about to meet Mr. Freaking Knight right now. The costume looks so good. We are next in line. Mr. Knight, you, you're on my bucket list. We've traveled all the way from Orlando to come visit you. Oh, cheers. Yeah, well, don't worry, mate. You can call me Steven if you'd like. Uh, that's my middle name. Great what name. It is. is it with a V? No, PH. I'm Steven with a V, yeah. Like, float like a butt, floating like a V, you know? Don't I like love that. your suit. Oh, you the love detail. You. Oh, uh, thanks, but yeah, we've got like Conchu right here. Oh my gosh. That's the symbol. Yeah, yeah. Conchu over there. Now, you know, this like super fancy tie. Yeah. Well, I mean, when they said suit, I just thought of this, right? <laughs> so I'm like, suit kind of popped up. So I was in the collector's inner sanctum. You ever seen that? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's quite impressive, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, look at so it. You know a little more about it than I do. Look it's in the, the collector's inner sanctum. Yeah. Oh, that was in the collector's? Yeah. Oh, no. I spotted that today. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, that is definitely ancient Egyptian. Look at that, but it sort of looks like Toa, but not really, but it sort of looks like, oh, well, I can't really see the top, but who's that? Oh, geez. Well, we have to do some further detail. research. Oh, yeah, that's the one that was, that's, that's kind of the Ennead, yeah? Have you heard of the Ennead? Yeah. It's like the Nine Gold. Yeah, that's one of the, oh, jeez, mate. All right, I got you. Wait, toad up. I you. Look, it's your mate. <laughs> yeah, you see that? The guy in the collector. All right. Oh, all right. Oh, he said he knew about it. I think maybe they're keeping him over there for a reason. I don't know. I try not to ask too many questions about yeah. the ancient Egyptian gods, but um, I'm just here, you know, sort of be the right hand of vengeance support. My vacation was made. That was so good. I love that, like, characters at Disneyland actually want to engage with you and, like, talk to you. My camera shut off in the middle of the conversation, so I'm sorry if I miss some stuff. You can actually spend time with the character instead of, like, a Walt Disney World where it's like, okay, stay here, photo. Okay, bye. Like, that's what it's like there. But here, it's like, you can have a good time. Uh, we're heading out right now. One of my favorite parts about, like, going to a Disney park is leaving a Disney park, but just, like, that, like, slow walk 
out, seeing the empty streets. Because there's not too many crowds, you can kind of enjoy the soundtrack that's being played. And it's peaceful and nice. Right, let's uh, let's go home and talk about everything. Okay, now guys, we are back at home. Yes, I did kind of shoot that video in 2022. It's April. Things are slow in the theme park industry right now. So I'm finally catching up with all the other vlogs. So there's like one more Disneyland video from 2022. But I stopped by the P.O. box. You guys have been sending some stuff. This is from a Zombie Milkshake. It's an interesting name. It's an Oogie Boogie air freshener. Jennifer, thank you so much. I will be putting this on my car and I'll be rocking the little Oogie Boogie air freshener. I hope it doesn't smell like bugs. I hope it, <laughs> it smells good. Oh, it's gummy worm scented. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Now, the world of color that we watched in this video is like the older world of color. I'm, I think it'll probably come back after world of color one is finished. World of color one is, it's good. It comes nowhere close to this world of color. The pacing and the song choice and the storytelling is just perfection on this world of color. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you have not, already hit the subscribe button and join the family we love the family because i'm going to keep you up to date not well i guess this video really wasn't up to date because <laughs> it's 2022 uh i will try to keep you up to date in all things disney and theme parks around the country i love you all i'll see y'all very soon to work Look, we're on Pixar Pier and they have Wally's little cockroach right there.